Hello everyone, so in today's video we are going to be talking about Sitara bean, which is actually a chemotherapeutic drug. So what is the mechanism of action of this agent, how this drug actually works in our body? So first of all, Sitara bean is a prodrug that it requires the conversion of this uh, drug into an activated form that is the tyrabine triphosphate. So now cytyrabine, which is a prodrug, uh, pro drug, is converted into cytyrabine triphosphate by the action of an enzyme which is present within the cell, and that enzyme is called as the oxycytidine kinase. Now this enzyme is going to convert cytyrabine into cytyrabine triphosphate, so it is actually activating the drug. So now we have activated form of that drug and now it is ready to perform its action. So now what is going to happen that uh, there is going to be competition between styrabine triphosphate for the DNA polymerase enzyme. So styrabine triphosphate and DNA polymerase enzymes both are going to compete uh, with each other uh, and the resultant, what will happen that if the cytyrabine triphosphate wins, what will happen? There will be inhibition of the synthesis of DNA. That is, there's no more DNA formation in the cell. So if you are taking cytyrabine, what it is going to do, it is going to block the synthesis of uh, DNA. So it is actually competing with DNA polymerase enzyme, which is causing the synthesis of DNA. So it is competing with that, and ultimately it is causing the inhibition of synthesis of DNA. After that, further the drug, the drug produces cytotoxicity in the cell through incorporation into DNA and RNA. Like this drug, other than inhibiting the synthesis of DNA, this drug is also having some cytotoxic effect, which is that it is going to incorporate itself into DNA and RNA of the cell. So what will happen when there is incorporation of something uh, unusual, there going to be cytotoxicity. So the thing is Citara Bain produce its effect mainly on the cell, which are actively dividing by blocking the progression of the cell from G1 phase to S phase. As we know, division involves different phases. So this actually work on the, uh, uh, this uh, drug actually block the progression of the cell from GS phase to S phase. It's uh, S phase. It do not let the um, let the cell divide from uh, G1 phase to S phase. Okay. So actually, what is going to happen over here that this drug is causing uh, its mechanism of action mainly on those cells which are actively dividing. And why this is so? Because we already read that it is blocking the action of uh, synthesis of DNA. So. DNA synthesis is required when cells are rapidly dividing, when they are mm, dividing again and again and again. So if that's the case, then it is more uh, uh, probable that it is going to work on those cells which are having, uh, which are in active state, which are actively dividing. So this overall result caused the death of actively dividing cells.